All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's show. We are going to get right into the data. We're going to deep dive into the Phoenix housing markets update. I'm glad you are here with me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will be answering them today as well. Now, there's a lot of questions about the Phoenix housing market. What's going on? Is it a buyer's market? Is it a seller's market? Is it going to crash, etc.? But we're going to deep dive into this information. Nobody else is doing this except for this guy right here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. So I'm going to share my screen. If it is a two screen, I'll be on the left side or the right side. It's going to be a split screen. I'm going to have all the data on the right or left side. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer them. I'm running the show solo, 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 solo. So let's deep dive right into this right away. Enough with the intro and everything else. So here we go. We have the split screen. So as you can see by the title, we are going to compare June 8th of 2019. We got to compare it to something. We're going to compare it to June 8th of 2020. What's up, wifey? John Middleton, what's going on? Welcome to the show. Love you, babe. Thanks for everything. Hi. How you doing? Thanks for all the support. Okay, so let's get into active listings for sale. Right here in the middle, you'll see this right here. This is active listings for sale homes that you can buy right now. That is 11,232. Now remember, this is June 8th, okay? June 8th of 2020, comparing it to June 8th of 2019. That is a negative 32.6%, my friends. A negative 32.6% from last year. So you have less inventory to choose from if you are trying to purchase a house. Yes, it is tough out there. It is so tough out there right now trying to purchase a house. I am moving my drink before I spill it all over my microphones. So you have 11,232 homes available to purchase. Okay, moving on, moving on up. Listings under contract. Let me make sure that's on the frame for you guys. We are right here, right in the middle, 13,321. That is up 10.7%. Last month it was down because the coronavirus came in and scared the shit out of everybody. That is right. I said that word. So it scared everybody, but welcome to the show, everybody. There's five people watching. Leave a comment. Give me a like, heart, love, share. Give me some love. Anyways, let's go with the monthly median sales price, folks. Okay, I try to make this show not boring, so you'll hear me say some words that you probably would not want to listen to, or if your children around, make sure they got earplugs. I'm just playing. Monthly median sales price, 295,000. That is up a positive 5.7% from last year in the same month. So if you waited June of 2019 till June of 2020, well, you're gonna be paying 5.7% more if you're thinking about buying the house. Now, just wait till next year. We don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna find out about this report to see what's going on. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go right here to the middle, right here to the middle, close sales. Okay, we are down 30.8% right there in the middle you see what i'm looking at right here down 30.8 percent well the virus came in a lot of people backed out wanted to make sure their job was secure but we're still moving forward a lot of my clients who backed out are back in escrow they just want to make sure their job is secure so everything is looking good everything is looking good folks everything is looking good okay listing success rate we are right here right here. Now we're going to do June of 2020, 84%, 84%. You got an 84% chance of selling your house in June of 2020. In June of 2019, you had an 84.6% chance. And in 2018, you had an 83.4%. Okay. Now let's get right into the months of supply. Okay, we are moving, we're moving here, moving fast. Only 1K available homes. We sell 10K a month here in Maricopa County. What is going on, Jason Coleman? Nicole Reyes, how you doing? So months of supply. Okay, this means that if no more new listings were to come 
on the market at the current monthly rate of sales, inventory would sell out in 2.3 months. That is right, 2.3 months. What does that mean, folks? Let me write it down for you. We are in a seller's market. Seller's, seller's market, okay? It is still hot seller's market, okay? So if you're thinking about going in and lowballing, well, you better think twice. You better think twice, okay? Now, I got some more data for you guys. Got the report right here. Got the report right here. You wonder, sir, why I have so much energy? I had to give me a little bang bang. Man, it was a, it was a lot. It was a long night last night. I did my burpee. Oop! I spilled my bang on my pants. I did my burpees today. If you haven't seen my stories, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, doing a uh, 200 burpees, a uh, 100 burpee, burpee pumps. That's a burpee with the push-up. I'm doing 200 air squats and 100 flutter kicks. Join me on the workout. But anyways, let's get into some good buyer section. We're gonna go into the buyer section right now. I'm gonna read you a couple comments from the Cronford Report. Love that lady from Tina Tambor. She's amazing, smarter than me. So, Phoenix is officially a frenzy market. No slowdown, there's no crash. Do you think there's gonna be a crash? Let me know. Over the past four weeks, the number of contracts accepted weekly has jumped another 20% since last report. Bring the total recovery since April 5th to 68% and 2.5% higher than it was in late February. Okay, so it is increasing, okay? So the most frenzy areas are those with an average sales price between 200 and 400,000. Now, got a phone call, sorry. 200 to 400,000. If you're looking for a house between 200 and 400,000, you better put your best foot forward because man, you and everybody else in this valley is looking for a house at that price range, okay? So the hottest areas, Southeast Valley, West Valley, North and South Phoenix. The South Phoenix, the Levine, it's growing. It's growing, it's still affordable. 202, it's there. Okay, at the last count, there were 2,061 properties for sale in between the 200 to 300,000. Let me repeat that. 2,061 properties were available for sale between 200 and 300,000. And then 4,333 we're under contract already. So you got some slim pickings, man, some slim pickings. Now, between 300,000 and 400,000, there were 2,006 properties for sale. Okay, so 300 to 400,000, there were only 2,006 properties for sale. And there were 3,017 under contract. That is 24% higher than last year. 24%, okay? It is a seller's market, okay? Now, get this, okay? We saw the biggest comeback between 500,000 to 1 million, okay? That is crazy. That is up 167%. 167% people are buying homes at 500,000 to 1 million. And then, get this. Contracts over a million dollars are now up 85% compared to this week last year. So we have people buying million dollar properties that is up 85% from this week last year, okay? Jennifer, what's up? Ray J. Robertson, what's going on? Let me know if I'm yelling. I'm just trying to keep everybody interested in the Phoenix real estate market because, you know, some people just don't like data and I just try to explain it as easy as possible. Low interest rates, guys, keeps home prices affordable even if there's a lack of inventory. So. Miss Tina Tambor from the Crawford Report, she's amazing. She put this little question. Is it still a good time to buy? Okay, it's right here. I'm not lying, okay? I'm just explaining the data to you. I'm just giving it to you for free. I pay for it to extract the information and then to give it to you for free. Okay, that's how it works around here. Is it still a good time to buy a house? The answer is yes for now. Affordability is still within normal range, which is a good reason as to why there is so much demand. We have so much demand here in Arizona. We have low supply. We have to beat out some contracts, okay? Thankfully, 
I know how to negotiate the contract and get my buyers the property they wish and that they want. And we are helping our clients and we are onboarding new clients. Now, if affordability drops below the normal range for those making the median family income, I don't know what that number is. If somebody can find out what that median uh, family income is for Arizona, then the market will cool down. So we need to figure out what that dollar sign is. I don't. I, I messed up there. I didn't get that number for you guys. I'm sorry. So we're not there yet, though. So the market is not cooling off. So it's best to get in while it's affordable, and those rates are affordable, my friends. When we purchased our first house, um, if I'd sell, it could drop the interest. Rate. I think it was like six point three five percent. Okay, you can get in like at 4.125 or even the high threes right now. Uh, so just a heads up on that. Okay, so that is the buyer section. We're going to roll right into the seller section. <coughs> Excuse me, right now. Let me take a drink. We're going to roll into the seller section. So if you're contemplating um, putting your house on the market to buy another house or to go new build, you might want to consider it. Okay? So... Let's, 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 read this, let's read this really quick. Interesting percentage of closings over asking price. 23% of all closings so far in June have recorded over asking price. That is up 17% from January and 19% from February. So if you have a house for sale, okay, you're probably going to get over asking price. Okay, and the number is 23%. So do your home value. Multiply it times 23%, add that dollar sign, and that's how much you're going to make. Okay, now check this out. 38% of closings between 200 and 250,000 are 38% over asking price. 38 over ask, 38% over asking price if you have a property between 200 and 250,000. And 27% over asking price between 250 to 300,000. Now, folks, I'm not going to kid you. Okay, working with buyers is tough. You got buyers lined up on the front door, the back door, in your roof, in your windows, under your landscaping. They're peeking through your attic. They're trying to get into your house. If you have a house for sale, they're just lining up. Okay, lining up. I'm talking about cars in your front yard. You're probably going to have to tell your realtor, oh, take it off the market. Uh, that's enough offers. You're going to get multiple offers. And the, the reason why I say this is, look at this statement. In today's environment, there are some agents reporting they have 70 competing offers for more than one home that is under 300,000. 300,000. If you have a house under 300,000, woo! You have a lot of buyers. A lot of buyers lined up in your front yard. You know, you, you, you can meet a lot of people. If you want to meet some people, even with the coronavirus right now, if you want to shake some hands, you can shake a lot of hands right now. I'm just saying. So, Tina Tamborns. She says this right here. Sellers who have been on the fence about listing their home lately should seriously consider it now and take advantage while the market is hot. Now, you got to remember, spring is our hottest time of the year for real estate, okay? And then summer gets a little slow till maybe about uh, eh, November, December. You know, it's not like dropping down, but it gets kind of slow, right? But you got to remember the coronavirus kind of came in and stopped everything. So, it's going to be a busy summer and maybe a busy fall, but we'll have to see what happens. Um, so if you plan to sell your home this year, now is the time to do it. Okay, you can sell, come in, get into a low interest rate, buy a new house, upgrade to that 500000 mark because you're going to make some bank, especially if you've been holding on to your property for a long time, you want to upgrade. You got to do the math whether you want to upgrade you know, if you're going to get that dollar, that dollar amount back from the property you're in and the location you're at, you know, it's all about the math and what's happening with the markets. So, um, Apollonio, what's going on, my friend? Jason Coleman, 58,000 median income. Okay, so there's a median income, 58,000. I threw the paperwork. Let me see. I'm back. Sorry. So, market was slowed down. Okay, if affordability drops below the normal range. Okay, so m median income is 58,000. Thank you, Mr. Coleman. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a lot of data. I'm not going to kid you. It, it's a lot to trans 
try to put this brain to work, running all the technology, doing all this, but I hope you enjoyed the video. You know how to find me. Go to my YouTube channel. There's a lot of tips, <coughs> a lot of tips there for home buyers and home sellers. We have, um, we have five buyers right now in escrow, five buyers in escrow. I'm trying to help a couple you found me on YouTube. They are at 280,000 below. She sent me eight properties. We had, we're down to three because they all went under pending and under contract. Now we're down to two and I just got a text message. Right there with, you know, that little, that little text message that just happened. Uh, I think that was under contract. So now we just have one. These pancakes are flying off the market. So anyways, I appreciate you guys tuning in once a month. It's the market update. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. You can text me, you can call me, you can email me, go to YouTube, etc. Just get a hold of me if you're trying to do something. I can, I'll just explain everything via my whiteboard, Zoom meeting, if you're trying to invest, whatever. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. I gotta go eat dinner with the fam bam. With that, I love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye now. That email address is victor at freeagentproperties.com where we release new videos each week on home buyer tips, home seller tips, the Phoenix housing market updates so you can be mindful when you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate. We will talk to you soon.